Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today, I want to talk about Mask, Mobile Armored Strike Command. It was this really cool toy line from the early 80s made by Kenner, and they were vehicles that transformed into powerful battle vehicles or battle stations. In front of us, we have the Rhino here. This is probably one of the most well-remembered vehicles. It was a semi-truck that had a missile silo inside it and a little detachable scout vehicle, and it's just a ton of fun. As a kid, my favorite thing about Mask was the little guys. This is Matt Tracker. He's the leader of Mask. He actually came with two different vehicles. This is his Rhino version that's the sort of red and brown outfit. And he came with a mask or a helmet. Each character had a unique helmet. Sometimes different versions of the helmets existed based on different sets. So like Matt comes with two different masks based on which vehicle he comes with. And the masks gave them different powers. The one thing I liked about this mask is it's the one that's in the mask logo. Another little side note about mask toy history is that originally they all had these masks, the small masks, and then eventually, I guess to prevent choking hazards or something like that, they came out with these larger masks. The larger masks aren't as cool. They don't feel like helmets as much because it, it comes down over like their entire chest. Kind of hides the character details a little bit more, breaks up the sculpt. So I don't like the big masks as much, but I had a lot of the big masks as a kid. I didn't actually realize there were two versions of them. I just thought some guys came with bigger helmets than others. So I mentioned that Mask is regular vehicles with special modes or special weapon hidden inside them, because in Mask, Illusion is the ultimate weapon. So the Rhino here, the tail part, can disconnect. And the little lock piece there flips up, and that can become a seat. So if you have both drivers, and somewhere I have Bruce, but I don't know what, what happened to him, Bruce Sato. You know, you could put him in the little scout vehicle while Matt's driving the big rig, which looks a little funny once it's missing its rear end. The Rhino itself has a couple different special features. There's a spring-loaded door. This is a, a booby trap, basically. So if a bad guy, and the bad guys from Mask are called Venom, if a guy from Venom gets into the seat here, and he's trying to take over the truck, boom! Oh no, he got stuck because of his helmet. Boom! Ah! I'm going to steal this truck. No, you're not. The Rhino also features a battering ram. Boom! The smokestacks on the Rhino can tilt down. to become laser cannons. Pew, 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 pew! The last feature that the Rhino has is that the sleeper cab area, whoops, I gotta turn it around the other way. Sleeper cab area opens up into a little command center with a missile silo. So there's a bunch of computer terminals all the way in the back there. And then there's the missile. This little button on the back launches the missile. I didn't just make this video to show you my Rhino. I actually did this because I have finally found my collection of mask figures from my childhood. As a kid I had a couple mask vehicles and I played rough with them and eventually they wore out. The tires ripped on the Thunderhawk and things like that and so I sold them at a yard sale. But I kept the figures, and I kept buying figures at yard sales. And there's other toy lines that are kind of similar in size, like Dino Riders. And I had all those little figures together somewhere. And I could not figure out where they were. For about six years, I have not been able to figure out where they were. Um, I didn't know whether I left them at my parents' house when I moved, or if they were somewhere in my house, and I just didn't know. It turns out they were in my house, and I didn't know, because I didn't realize what container they were in. But I finally found them. in this non-conspicuous episode 310. All right, so let's start digging in. First up, we got Brad Turner. 
pop his helmet off there so you can see him. I actually got this Brad figure at a yard sale or flea market at the church I went to as a kid. And he came with a vehicle, which I actually see in the box here. This is the Condor. This is one of the most common mask vehicles. It seems like everybody had this one as a kid. It was pretty inexpensive, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, so let me plug him in there so you can see he can ride his green motorcycle. But the best thing was that you could flip this bar up. You could pull this back wheel out. And you could flip up these rotor blades. And now Brad Turner didn't have a motorcycle. He had a mini helicopter. Here's Miles Mayhem. He drives the Switchblade. It was a jet that could turn into a helicopter. The main bad guy, leader of Venom. He was pretty cool. Here's another version of Matt Tracker. This is the version that people that watch the cartoon would be most familiar with. This is the version that came with the Thunderhawk, which was his red car that could fly. He was actually uh, Matt Tracker. Oh, here's the other Matt. This one actually has his helmet. Spectrum. Spectrum's got such super vision. Ma -ma 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 mask. The Thunderhawk and Matt Tracker were my first mask figures. This probably... One of these two figures and this mask were, were my original ones that I kept when I sold the my broken Thunderhawk at a yard sale. I had the Switchblade at one point in time, but it wasn't brand new. This guy is not a mask. He's actually from... Not Exo Squad. Uh, Robotech, I think. He came with like a mech warrior. I bought him at a thrift store. He's similar in size, although he's a little short. Um, but I always kind of kept him with these guys. And somewhere there's a helmet for him too, which made him seem like a mask guy. All right, here's Alex Sector. Alex actually was the co-pilot to the Rhino, the big tractor trailer in the TV show. I'm not sure if this is the correct mask for him. This is definitely an Alex mask, but a couple times I had one version of the figure and a, and a different version of the helmet to that guy, so I kind of kept them together as a kid. That's Alex. Ooh, here's another bad guy for Miles to boss around. Lester Sludge. And his mask can come off. Got sunglasses on there. He seems like he would want to uh, go after Brad Turner. They, they got the same cocky sunglass attitude going on there. Alright, this guy actually is a Dino Rider. Another toy line, very similar in size to Mask. Uh, so I kept these figures together. I think this guy came with the Stegosaurus. Dino Rider bad guy. This is the Ant guy. There were lots of different uh, anthropomorphic animal people in Dino Riders. Here's Sly Rax. He was another member of Venom. This figure happens to be missing his leg. I remember that happening as a kid. I dropped him in my basement and his leg cracked off. Uh, so I had a stick for a long time that he could use as a crutch. Another Dino Rider figure. Hondo McLean. This is the first version of Hondo's mask. But the second version of the Hondo figure. Again, that's not a perfect match, but, you know, I bought, bought a lot of these guys at yard sales, so they didn't always have the stuff they were supposed to have. Bruce Sato. This is the figure that came as the co-pilot with the Rhino toy. This Bruce figure was one of my favorite toys as a kid. I used to play with him all the time. I actually used to pretend Matt Tracker and Bruce Sato were the children of G.I. Joes, and... We sometimes have these kids run around the G.I. Joe base. I don't know. Here's another mask figure. This is Calhoun Burns. He's from... not. He's not from the original series of masks. He's, you know, from like the second or third series. A little less known character. Another Dino Riders character. This guy looks a little bit younger. Ooh, the Snake Man from Dino Riders. This guy actually has one of his weapons. This guy was the pilot to the Pterodactyl. Ace Riker, another mask pilot character, no helmet for him. It's T-Bob! So in the cartoon show, Matt Tracker's son Scott and his little personal robot T-Bob were the comedy relief, sometimes annoying. Um, 
and T-Bob could actually turn into a, like a little motorcycle scooter thing for, for uh, Scott to ride on. So this was the, the best they could do. In the cartoon, he had legs and the wheel would fold out. He was like a unicycle. The toy uh, is not quite as show accurate, but he's still fun. Whew, we gotta make some room. Here's Ali Bombay. Another figure from the later in the series. I actually had two of this guy at one point when I was a kid. Picked them both up at a yard sale. Another Dino Riders character. I used to use this guy as Hondo for my mask figures when I was a kid because I didn't have Hondo. Here's Buddy Hawks. Always liked that he had the headphones in. You can see his Walkman right there. Before Guardians of the Galaxy made it cool again. Oh, there's another Miles Mayhem. This one has his helmet. So that's the leader of the bad guys, like I said. Another Dino Riders bad guy. This is the alternate version of the Snake guy. Cliff Daggers. He's another bad guy. Has the eye patch there. He was sort of a bumbling doofus on the show. Dusty Hayes. This is a later version of Dusty. Dusty was one of the original heroes on Mask. Um, he drove the Gator originally, but this one came from the, like, the racing series. He was part of the Billboard playset. There's another Ant guy from Dino Riders. Um, there's another long version of the Matt Tracker mask from Rhino. There's the long version of Brad Turner's helmet. Oh no, maybe this is, this is the original Dusty Haze. Here's the Dusty Haze that came later in the series as part of the billboards thing. You can see that they're, you know, reused the molds but changed the color slightly. This one's a little bit more greenish blue and his helmet's more gold than silver. Oh, here's the helmet to the... Robotech guy. Here's another look at those Dino Riders figures. Here's that Robotech guy. Here's all the good guys. And there's the bad guys from Venom. So we're almost done talking about Mask, but while my Mask guys were all missing, I did collect some other ones. So these are the newest pieces to my Mask collection. I actually picked up a second Condor. This one is missing the windshield piece, uh, and the sticker's really beat up there, but I don't even think mine has a sticker. So, I don't know, that might be better or worse. But I got this real cheap at a yard sale, so I couldn't leave it behind. Here's a new Sly Rax for my collection that has both his legs, and I actually have parts to his vehicle. Uh, this is Sly's motorcycle. So his motorcycle and submarine sidecar look something like that, but I'm missing the piece that actually connects them together. I ended up with two more Cliff Daggers. I didn't even remember that I had this one in my childhood collection. I got Vanessa Warfield. I think she's the only female character they made in Mask. I think I got Vanessa at the same yard sale I bought the Condor. Here's Bruno Shepard. He's another bad guy driver. If you saw my NJCC haul, you may have seen that I picked up this rescue mission Bruce Sato with his helmet. That was like a little figure with accessory pack kind of thing. And I also got Julio Lopez, who is the driver to the Firefly, with his helmet. I also got this Dino Rider guy. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. In the comments below, let me know if you enjoy this style video and you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.